Hi everyone, we are at Glamour Woman of the Year. This is the red carpet. My name is Uba. Hi, and I'm Bryn. Welcome, welcome. We are so excited to be here. Let's I'm in Fit Check. Bryn. Yes. Can you turn around? We'll do a small twirl. Oh, a little twirl. My God. Not a twerk, a twirl. We're classy here today. We're not in Vegas anymore. Uba. No, no, no. I know, I know. We're we, not in Vegas. Whatever happened in Vegas, stay in Vegas, except. <laughs> Bryn. No, including my shoes. <laughs> no, 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 no. We want to know how did you get here? Did you check in the elevator, stairs? Uh, I'm boycotting escalators. Uh -huh. We are. We're gonna go old school. We're only gonna do stairs or an elevator. No more escalator. PSA. No more escalators. Baby, so tell me. The stairs. Yes. Tell me so what you're wearing tonight. I'm wearing today eight oxen. As we know, we were all supposed to wear woman designer. Honoring woman designer tonight, as well as all of our women honorees. Yes, here at the Glamour Woman of the Year Award, guys. I can't believe how we got this job, but we're here live. Don't tell. We, we actually guys. snuck in here. We're not supposed to be here right now. There's so. a lot of women, amazing, just change makers and amazing, amazing activists and advocates. Everyone is here tonight. You are going to want to stay tuned, and we're just excited to bring you along. Do not change that like, what are they YouTube watching for? <laughs> the YouTube channel, they're in Glamour. Don't change your cruise control. Your Whatever control you're cruise. watching us from, please do that. Get, make sure you have your snack, your water, everything. <laughs> We're gonna get you inside for the first time. They have never done this. Yes. So we are actually snacking here to do this for you guys. And you can sneak in with us and meet everyone. It's gonna be an amazing, fabulous night. Yeah, we are very, very grateful to be here and we're going to be here for one hour. So please ah. put your phone in airplane mode and yeah, stay here with us. Bryn, yes, can you love. imagine? Please pinch me. Please pinch you. I'm not going to pinch your bum. My English I'm teacher will be so <laughs> proud that I'm here today. Hey, your English teacher is here. I mean, I think I got D minus. <laughs> no, you did. You're going to get an A plus tonight. Tonight, I think I'm going to get an A plus. plus. You yes. in your own right are amazing. This yes. one, she's a little humble queen, <laughs> but she's a philanthropist and an entrepreneur in her own right. Oh, amazing look, woman. Look who's talking. My lawyer, as I tell you, I don't <laughs> do any contract without talking to Brent. Personal injury. <laughs> I'm going to represent myself in my shoe gate. <laughs> Those shoes, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Thank God you took your feet out. I know. I, yeah, I, I stepped out perfectly. I thought that they, they felt stuck. I could feel yeah. So I just stepped out automatically. <laughs> think, I still have my toes. I still have my toes. A little Brindarella moment never hurt anybody. Bryn, I think I see. You saw with your little eye? Yeah. <gasps> uh, the woman Ladies of the and year. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the editor in chief of Glamour Magazine herself, Sam Barry. Get over here. So my amazing. fellow, the Condé Nast <laughs> resident redhead. How are you guys? Hello. Did we like? Did we color coordinate? I feel like we did, we right? Did. This is all women designers, and black, white was the thing. Yeah. Who designed yours? My dress is by an amazing um, Mexican-American designer called Alexa Maria. She's based in California, born in Mexico. Amazing. And I have a change for the after party, too. But this is my look. Ooh. But here, you We're gonna do, the back okay, of it. Let's do the oh troll. Oh, my Ooh, we God. Love, girl, you look like a present show, with those please bows. Please show the view at the back. Okay. Show the view at the view I'm, back. I'm polka dot Barbie. Polka dot Barbie. We oh, love it. We love it. My God. Okay, so Sam, as the editor-in-chief, can you tell us a little bit more about this amazing, amazing event? How, I mean, how do you even pick... The women that are going to be here tonight, can you tell us, everyone at home, a little bit more, like what's behind the, the carpet? So we've been doing Women of the Year for 33 years. The first Women of the Year was in 1990. Madonna was one of the original Women of the Year in 1990. Uh. And I think it's, just, it's, such, it's steeped in the tradition of glamour. It's everything we do, which is celebrate women, honor women. And every year, we, it, it takes us a while to pick who these women are. We get together with the glamour team. We get together with the glamour team globally. And we all also have an amazing advisory board. You'll meet a lot of them on the carpet tonight. They're made up of previous Women of the Year. They're made up of the women at the top of their field. And they come together maybe four times a year and they help us pick who we should be honoring. And So earlier today you told us, I asked you when are you, when are you going to plan the next one? Is it six months? You said the minute you wrap this one, you're starting <laughs> plan. Do you know what's interesting? Actually at nights like this, we get a, a lot of people that come up to us afterwards and they say, this was an amazing event. I want you to know about this woman. Right. And so as I'm leaving this party, I guarantee We're recruiting. You. Did you hear yeah. that, everybody? Yes. We yes. are recruiting next year's honorees attendees. So. I, think, I think she might be looking at them. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, ah, we'll do a lot of charity. We just have to yeah. do a lot of charity. We have to help a lot yeah. for the whole year, right? Um, exactly. yes, I'm, I'm yes. going to get the cheat sheet. We'll be doing that. Well, uh, today, how did you do to prepare with this? Like, since you are, you, everyone is here, you are the host. Well, I saw you earlier and I was in my sweatpants. Um, we were all in yeah, sweatpants yeah, 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 earlier. Yeah, Don't be fooled by the I was in my sweatpants. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I have an amazing glam team. The Charlotte Till, uh, Tasman from Charlotte Tilbury's oh, team. Oh, amazing. And Helen, who is a female ultra entrepreneur and owns Acton Acre. She did my hair. And I think it's just so amazing stylists. We have the same stylist, Andrew. That's why we look like twinsies. Exactly, twinsies. Um, and I think, again, it's the process. This is the biggest night for me. It's the biggest night for Glamour. We want to look and feel the best, and we want to promote women. So Thank I think you. encouraging everybody Thanks. to come down the red carpet and wear um, women-led designers was it's important amazing. to us. Well, biggest night for us as well. I'm so excited. And I think you need to get inside because yes. you're, a, you're a very important lady here. Well, you're, you're hosting. Ver you're very important. You're two, you're two no. live stream hosts. I this mean, is great. Thank you so much for having us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We thank will you. never forget this moment. Thank and you. yeah, we're here at Glamour Moon of the Year. Amazing. Yeah. Good to see thank you guys. Thank Bye. You. Guys, this is How cool like is it that you just get to say, never growing up in Indiana did I think, <sighs> I'm going to get to talk to the editor-in-chief <laughs> of Glamour. <laughs> and not only in any place, this is Lincoln Center. Right. I mean, Absolutely one amazing. of the most iconic buildings. Yes. I was like, do they going to have like our... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm seeing Michelle. Michelle, Michelle Wait, wait. Michelle. Okay, wait, wait. Guys. Michelle Mybell. We got Hot girl. What up? Oh, wow, 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 wow. You love it. Oh my god. Oh my, how are you? What? Hey Freckles. Hey Freckles matching. Okay, can I just say on behalf of all single gals in their 30s, Thank you for giving us a voice. Your memoirs, all your work, when I watch it and read it, I cry, I laugh. Everything, and truly, it's truly like the like watching it just resonates. I'm like, that. that's me. I'm like, that's me, that's me. Okay, so you are the hostess with the mostest. This is the hostess tonight. Hostess with the mostest. And she's got a cute face and a banging bod, okay. Don't, don't worry about it. we're doing it. But serious note, the work that you've done in this state of New York to legalize surrogacy, can we just talk about that for a second? I mean, it's profound. So more than a cute face and a banging body, seriously, the work. can you tell us a little bit more about that in the audience at home? Sure. So I welcomed my twins, Hazel and Otis, via surrogacy. Um, I had a rough go of it for five years. You know, your body is like your car. Stay with me now. You never know... Um, how much you need to maintain things and what's going to go wrong unless it does go wrong. And so when I realized, you know, my body can't do this, I really thought that my country would help me, that health care would be there for me. And, you know, when you find out that not only is surrogacy not legal in New York and other states, you know, how it's not covered by insurance. And so I don't know why it feels like you have to be punished in order to want a family uh, through alternative family planning. But, you know, through Andy Cohen's help, we um, lobbied and marched and stomped in Albany. And now gestational surrogacy is legal. And so, yeah, I want everybody to have a chance to have a family. If that's what you want, I want that for you. Michelle, Michelle, I have a question. Right now, or is this the glamour? Where the we, girl, let's I, go. I have a question. You are so confident. Look, you're doing these kind of things like advocating like yeah. Sarah Garcia and all this thing. you are funny in the stage what advice would you give a 15 year old who is shy and timid a woman put you on the spot right girl. there oh my god I am so sorry. make it good they are watching that's okay yeah. hey, I mean like because a woman like you it's like we need to study people like you yeah were you always like this no, I was a shy, um, insecure 15-year-old because I, you know, that's how society raised me to be. Yes. Um, and so for me, I would love to tell any 15-year-old um, boy, girl, or non-binary royalty, you know, you matter. Your voice matters. People will try to tell you that you're annoying. You're not. Whatever you get made fun of, that's your special gift. That's your special sauce. Oh, I like that. I really cry. Yeah, and don't tell yourself no before someone tells you no. Before we even put ourselves out there, whether it's dating, whether it's a job you want, hi Amber, whether it's whatever it is you want to do, just do it. Because so as long many as you're a good human being, as long as yes. you're a good person and yeah. you tip well and you wash under your fingernails. <laughs> Okay, I love that. We um, love that we so love much. That. Michelle, we Michelle. can't wait to see you <laughs> in the stage. Ah. Can we go low? Can oh we go low? Oh, my God. Yeah. There no go. music. <laughs> you guys don't drug test here, so here we are. Hey, thank you so much, my love. I'm just, we're so excited. Oh thank you so much. God. Thank you. Oh, I see Gina. Oh, oh my God. My God. Bye.
you guys. Guys, one of the honorees here. Yes. We, Gina. Gina. My love, my triumph, my horse Barbie. Mm, yes, we horse Barbie. Love obsessed, obsessed with the book. It's just your story. Can we just take a minute here? Your story from being great Philippines pageant queen, fashion model icon. I mean, author, act, everything, everything in between. Your story is just truly magic, triumphant. Can you tell us a little bit more about everything you're doing, advocacy and whatnot, and just what how what you're feeling right now being here tonight? Oh, I feel so. Amazing right now. Glamour woman of the year. Girl, you, know, you got it! Oh, you deserve. I mean, it, it's such a it's such a big year, you know, releasing my memoir, Horace yes. Barbie, and to really share my story growing up from the Philippines to moving to America. Yeah. You know, as, as a young trans person dreaming about what was possible for me and to actually I mean, you're a trailblazer be because you had no one to look up to. Yeah, and yeah. And, and, and that's, that's the importance of representation, right? I mean, to, and to do that and to explore that and to share that story from my yes. own point of, point view, of view was so, so, so important. Yeah. And if you haven't seen it, the TED Talk that yeah. broke all TED, broke the mold for TED Talk. Yeah. I mean, beautiful. What was that, 2014? So I, I shake when I watch it. You have to watch it. Yeah. YouTube it. Um, so what are you, uh, what else are you feeling here tonight? Are you, is there anyone else, a fellow honoree or anyone that you're excited to meet? Yeah, you know, I'm excited to see uh, America Ferrer. I haven't seen her in a while. You know, we're, we're good friends. You know, she's also, I have to say, uh, talking about like supporting women, she's been a big, big support in my journey. Yes. I remember when she launched an initiative called Harness, which is combining activism and Hollywood and as a storyteller and someone who's been in the front lines. I mean, he, she really took purpose to like another level. Uh, you know, Celebrated. the advocacy of, of yeah. trans people. And then when I released my book, Horace Barbie, she's one of the first person that truly supported that so I really appreciate that. Lama was the first people to interview on that. Yes. That's and a follow up right I mean, you, TED you, Talk. You mentioned TED Talk. Yeah. I mean like when it was Glamour first. When that TED Talk yeah. went viral, that's been viewed I mean, close to five million times translated okay. in thirty two languages. Yeah. You know, he, something simple he, he like that. Question. Just not a big deal. He not a big question. deal. Your book, a horse barbie. Uh -huh. It's very explanatory. Mm -hmm. But quick question like quick second to tell us. Well, how did you land with that question, with that title? title? Because I'm sure you had many. I will, of course. Yeah. No, um, Horace Barbie, because growing up in the Philippines, when I started competing in trans beauty pageants, when I was 15, I reached the top of that very competitive world so quick. And you could imagine the jealous girls around. You could imagine the, you know, everybody, the fans and every, all the entourage, right? In the Philippines, they started calling me like I look like a horse as a derogatory thing to distract me, sure. right? But they're majestic. Exactly. Are majestic. And, and before I knew that, yeah. but then one day my trans pageant manager, Tiger Lily, who's very instrumental in my life, she saw me on stage and she said, you know what? You actually look like a horse Barbie on stage. So it's a reclamation of that. I mean, I'm going to go farther and even say unicorn Barbie because, baby, you have it all. You are magic. We are so excited to have you, you here. Thank you so much for Thank you so much. We're going to see. Congratulations and in advance. And we can't wait to see you tonight. We're coming in. Yeah, we're going to come inside and party with you. Thank, Thank you so you. much, lovely. Tonight. Thank you. Gorgeous. Okay, oh. next up, we have a famous Miss Kenya Moore. Get over here. I mean, Get over hey. here. You got a fan club, baby. You have a fan You guys are my babies. Hi. Oh, no, we are. You are mother. This is mother. Kenya. The Kenya mother of mother. Show our viewer what you're wearing tonight. Oh, yes. Please, twirl a little. Yes, twirl Show a little. Them. Twirl a little. Twirl. Twirl. I, I straight have said Vegas. earlier that I'm gone with the wind family. I might have said I'm gone with the wind fabulous earlier. Yeah, you did. I, but you know, it's a little bit gone with the wind. Yes, you guys look so beautiful. I'm so proud to see you We here. love you so, so, so much. Thank you. She's so hot in Vegas, guys. We're with her. Yes. She gave me a ride. Bravo Con yes. was amazing. And, uh, you thought I wasn't going to give you a ride, I but know, I did. <laughs> and then you tried to look for me to take me to Asha. Yes. I can't believe I missed a call I to go to Asha I with you. And I didn't get a chance to meet you while I was there. Oh, my yeah. I was too shy. I was too. So shy. tonight, everyone is here. Yes. Every everyone. Yes. If you would give, I'm trying to ask whoever I can, especially the confident girls. Yes. A 15 year old you an Aww. advice. What would that be? Always be your authentic self. Never conform. Never pretend to be someone you're not. Yeah. 
just be unapologetically you that all the time. That has been the theme tonight. Be your authentic yeah. self. Yes. Be it's the year self. of that. Like, no yes. more pretending. We're not trying to fit in. You make your own lane. Is Brooklyn here with you? No, I wish she was. We could have had a little oh, mini She just moment. celebrated her birthday. Yes, five. Yes. My only daughter, Can my only imagine? child just turned five. I can't believe it. You're, like, blushing when you're talking I about know. her. I know. She's so special. I just, you know, it's hard to leave her because sometimes she cries. Oh. Um, you know, when are you coming home? So, of course, you get the little mom guilt situation. But, yeah, she's been pretty good. Her birthday well, party are, is on Saturday, well, so she's the woman of the year, I'm sure she'll understand well, that. Yes, and she always tells me, Mommy, you look so beautiful. So, you know, coming from your child is so special to hear. Beautiful, beautiful. And you're an icon. We know your daughter thinks you're an icon. We are so excited to have you tonight. Thank you so much, my love. Sorry we fangirled. We'll see you tonight. We'll yeah, we'll, we'll see you in. inside. They gave home. us a so ticket. Fun. Yes, yeah. baby. Love you, love you. Love you. Oh! Hello, hi. How are so nice you? To see you? So nice to see you again. Oh my. Okay, we all we all clean. We cleaned up a lot different than we did earlier. We look a lot different than we look earlier. Okay, this outfit. Yes, Maggie. You are like one second. Of, so, you guys, we have here. Come scoot by me a little bit. We have Grammy nominated, right? Uh, singer, a uh, singer, songwriter. Every everything, I literally. Mean, Obama I mean, you on. Oh yeah, when you make Obama's you make playlist, Obama list? you're good. You're pretty good. I tried to get tickets to your tour. It was sold out. So we're very excited. You just call me now. You know where to find me. <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna see you tonight, baby. Because guess who's performing? Right. I'm so excited to open the show. I mean, just to be here in general. There's so many cool ass women everywhere. Which it's you're just, one of them. Oh, That's why you're here back, opening back at the you show. Guys, back at you guys. No, this is amazing. Can Thank you tell you. us what you're wearing today? I'm wearing Bodhi. Emily Bodhi is one of my favorite female designers. Oh, and so it was sort of an obvious who I wanted to be wearing at this event. Is this what you're going to wear once you perform today or are you changing? I'm going to wear this on stage. Oh, you're going to say this? <laughs> you heard it here. Why don't you put, they're going to have to take it off me, like pry it off me at the end. When you look this good, you don't want to change, baby. There's no need. All, I'm trying to wear this tomorrow to the supermarket. Ah. Oh my God, Maggie! You and your jewelry. Oh my God! It's oh, thank so you. I mean, these stunning. Just, thanks, guys. What was the preparation today? Like, were you nervous? Sound check earlier. You know, I'm, I'm a massive Mary J. Blige fan. Oh my and God! And so, I in sound check, I saw I'm performing literally like five or six feet from her. So there was a moment in sound check where I was like. Okay, yeah. like here we go. Like, are you gonna like put a little Mary J? Oh my little, god, no, no, yeah. no. Mary J is the only one who yeah. can possibly I do Mary like J. I, I think hip hop and folklore are totally. That's, that's the mashup everyone needs in 2023. <laughs> I agree, but I'm gonna let her do her thing. I'm gonna do mine, and I'm just gonna bow down and respect every inch of her. I am nervous so when she walks here. If she comes to us, I think I'm gonna hide no, on green dress. Look, you're gonna crush. Yeah. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> we're gonna. We're all gonna be great. We're all gonna be okay. We're the, the kids are all. Right. Every Everyone's got each other's back. Yeah. Oh, oh God. This is, this is a, it's, we're in good company. We're very, very happy to be here. We didn't yeah. even believe we got this job. I was like, friends. <laughs> oh, come on. Until we finish this, we don't know we're doing the job. No, you guys are crushing. Oh, no, we're thank very, you, very love. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. So thank you guys so much. All right. Have a great have a you, Thank you. That's you got to go start. Call. You got to get in there and start. You're about to perform. I know. I do have to go. Like, I, love yeah. you're, I love that you're just chilling here. And you're about to perform. You know what? The probably be worst thing in the world is when it's time to go and you have 10 minutes to wait and you're just yeah, standing there like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get in there. Right, you're gonna be amazing. Okay. Yes. Whoops. Scoochie over. I can't see my feet.
What do they do? And we are back here at the 2023 Glamour Woman of the Year Awards red carpet. As you can see, the carpet is on fire. And next up, we have two amazing guests. Oh my God, I just saw Brooke Shields. <laughs> I saw two. Did you, is that what? I'm frozen. Ah. And I'm frozen. Uh, okay. We have Amelia and okay, Olivia but next. But I also see two. Come hotties. on, girls. Girl, I know everyone's. Yeah. I know. I everyone's... think, I think, Amelia and Olivia. You know okay, what? You know what? We're all freaking out. Can, Can we, we just please bring push? over? Yes. I'm going to panic. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Hi. Hello. Oh, I'll give you a hug really quick. Hello, oh Brooke Shields. Oh it's beautiful. We are. We're gonna try to keep it together. <sighs> they, uh, Everything. Oh my God. You smell good. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. I mean, who Baby is girls. talking? We, I like. I see, we reflect. We're seeing ourselves in you. You are iconic. I'm just still around. I am still around. Oh, you knock no, it no. off. In Actor, advocate, possible. podcast host, author, documentary, film producer. I mean, you name it. She's do doing it all. Best friend. At best friend. Best friend. And that, mom. Mother of two. Team mom girl. of two gorgeous We're teen girls. Out. We were talking about this earlier, and we want to know what you are raising two teen girls. And there's so many of the audience watching today. What advice would you give to your teen girls or even to the 15-year-old Brooke? Oh gosh, listen. We want them to see Oh God, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, thought, yeah. I, thought the, yes. I thought the X was this way. I take no, orders that, very They're well. over there. Our I'll viewers are there. <laughs> All right. Um, listen. Listen to your kids um, and talk to them. I mean, I, I, think I, I think everybody talked to me when I was yeah. your age, but I don't think anybody listened to me. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that's the, you have to have the confidence to be able to speak what you need and your truth so that someone will hear you. Yeah, don't um, talk. That wasn't in my, my generation. See, me don't too. talk at them, right? Talk to them and listen. I get most of my information if I'm driving and I don't drive very well or cook very well. But when I'm driving, as long as I don't make eye contact with my children, it's like being in the wild. <laughs> they don't get nervous and they don't want to attack me. And then they start talking and then I start getting information. So get a car even if you're in the city and just drive around. Oh so Bryn and I, from so Bryn and I are not mothers yet and we really want to be moms, oh, right? Oh, you will. If you want to, you will. No, thank get you. Ready. Get ready. It's, just want to say, it's a lot of work. It's not just a lot of work. Like if people, yeah, it's a lot of work, but you know hard work. You know hard work. We all know hard work. That's yeah. not the issue. The issue is just that they're there forever. Yeah. <laughs> and they're your And you children. worry for them. You and never stopped worrying. No. Now Ever. my daughter's away. Yeah. My other one's going to college. And they're just big kids, big problems. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they're not. Heard, like with your mom, you will never grow. They never oh, stop no. worrying. Ever, ever, ever. Well, we know that they're not worried about you because you are being honored. You are an icon and a legend and just your daughter's going to do, but everyone. I mean, I think it's safe to say every single woman in the world looks up to you. You're just so amazing and your documentary and everything, your book, so inspirational, so incredible. Thank you for that. Is there anything that you, anyone aside from, you know, any other honoree that you're Is that excited? your best friend? Oh, no. I see your best friend over there. Well, my, my bestie is over there, but you know what? Every single honoree in past years, in, in this year, it's just, I'm so, I'm, I'm giddy <laughs> to be up in, in their company. I mean, they're so, they're, they are such necessary and valuable women. And just to, if you had told me this when I was 15, when I was first on the cover of Glamour, that I would one day be here yeah. at 58, oh, I, I would not have even, I would have thought you were speaking a different language. God plan, so. God plan. When God has plan, <laughs> nobody can stand. Exactly. Yes, God plans. We are so well excited done, to you tonight. Ladies, you've done a brilliant job. This is not an easy thing to do, and thank you. No, so thank you, you my love. You thank you. Come inside, so we'll, well that's see good. You. I'll see you in there then. Yes, yeah. We'll have a toast. Amazing. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Bryn. How am I supposed to take out? Because this is Can you imagine? Like By the way, guys, she is stunning. Stunning. How do you I couldn't speak. Her eyes are like it's just the energy. Jewelry. Too. Like I just want her to be she my mom. Is, is that creepy? Incredible. By the way, did you see her body? Did you see how she looked? Yadi yadi. She That's so is lovely and kind. You know, this it's one thing you see people. Which yeah. I've never met her before. Yeah. So you see people in TV or movies or yeah. magazines. You're like, oh, she's pretty cheesy. But like that in person, you meet them and they just feel larger than life. She feels like an icon. So I guess it makes sense that she's being honored. Guys, tonight. that was broke. <laughs> Like I can't. I just can't. Yeah, I'm just not freaking out after we see everybody. <laughs> you gotta be here to believe. Yeah, Seriously. but you are here. You are here. 
Next okay. year, you gotta make sure you, you, one of you, getting the glamour woman <laughs> of the year. We're gonna do our best. <laughs> so Amazing. Brilliant. Yes. What are you wearing? What, sh what shoes do you have on today? <laughs> Not the Vegas. You're gonna <laughs> stop rubbing my shoes in my face. Okay. <laughs> it's that iconic. I see. We have some go gorgeous. Come here, gorgeous. gorgeous. Hello. Oh, they are now they're the here. Cut out. Hi. Oh Hi. my gosh. Hi. I just Hi. saw you a week ago. How are you? Good to see you, Ron. Oh. Oh, As always. God. Giving, giving, giving. So can, you. can you please show our viewer? What do you guys have on? Let me help oh, you with this. Yeah. Stuck around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get the train. Fix the train. Best friend shoes. I mean, yeah. beyond. I feel like the height we all have too. After this, we right now. I'm like, what's going? After this, we could always do like a volleyball intramural team. Does Glamour have an intramural team? We can just do volleyball, basketball. I'm just gonna stick of like yeah. standing have, pretty. We have college uh, yeah. women of the year here too. We can just all form a team. We'll join the team. We'll join the team. Yeah, it'll be great. Stunning. Who like? What are you guys wearing? Marquesa. This is Marquesa. Stunning, gorgeous. We love feathers, crystals, diamonds. Yes. yes. I'm wearing Laquan Smith. Laquan Smith. You can tell Ruben. that from a mile away. And I was thinking, I was like, yeah. wait, who am I wearing? Who am I wearing? And I was no, looked down Laquan. and I was like, wait, babe, it's obvious. You just have to look down and remember. You're like, oop, that's Laquan. It's Laquan. given. Laquan. You that's Laquan. It's no, one done said. What are you guys wearing? So uh, have, Elizabeth have, Kennedy. I'm wearing AT Ox. I love it. Yeah. Love is it. there, is there. Designers. Yes. Is there anyone in particular that you guys, this is going to be like a room jam packed full of icons. Is there anyone that you particularly have your eye on that you saw in this Gorgeous line. I see a lot of faces. This is anyone you're particularly excited to meet tonight? Any specific icon? I'm lesbian, so this is like a perfect dating tool for me, to yeah. be honest. Um, what about you? Honestly, for me, I think I'm really excited to be surrounded with so many incredible women, women, but Lauren Sanchez is behind me, and I think she's a literal legend. We follow each other on Instagram, and I can't wait to say hi to her. <laughs> I love that. We love it. We love it. We love it. Okay, and who in, who who do you think now outside of it? Who inspires you, or who inspired you growing up? Wow, Josephine Scriver and Alexis Ren. That's a good one. Those are like the reason why I literally wanted to become a model. So oh now I'm here. Well, there you go, now you're here. Guys. I think for me, it would be my mom. I think she's like the most incredible woman I've Don't ever known. Don't make me known. start crying. She's the it girl. We Asian love her. <laughs> yes. oh. You just called your mom an it girl. Let's girl. let's make that normal, calling moms it girls. I, that Genius. Absolutely yes. genius. Nine months in their stomach, they are it girl. True. Share, yeah. <laughs> yeah, rent. Rent free for nine months. You guys look stunning, stunning. Amazing. You guys. We're coming inside. Yeah, we're coming Please in. We're going to see chair. inside. Yeah. Thank you guys so Amazing. much. Amazing. Guys, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah. Rue is here. Okay, next up, you guys, we have Glamour Editor Rue. Come here. And Rue is with the College Women of the Year. Oh, my gosh, Rue. No, it's so exciting. So, so exciting, so exciting. Thank you. Happy you to be here with all our black and white. It's incredible. Very fierceness it. today. Thank you. Love I know. I'm like I a love girl, so <laughs> I have a little bit of Beyonce. She has diamonds all over. Right. Renaissance era. So before we bring out these amazing, yes. amazing rock stars, can you tell us a little bit about the College Women of the Year? Absolutely. So College Women of the Year, we've been doing for 60 plus plus years, it's our way of recognizing the next generation of women, right? So the game changers, the youth. And so this year we decided why not celebrate women in sports, right? Yes. So we are honoring college athletes this year and it's an incredible moment to also recognize our college honoraries that are here today. Well, amazing. Well, we I can't even play tennis, so I'm going to exit stage left and I'm going to let you bring up these okay. amazing, amazing athletes. Thank you, Bryn. Bye. Hi, hi, hi! So we are here with our College Women of the Year honorees. We have Lydia Jacoby, we have Britton, Britton Wilson, we have Sydney Moore, and we have Riley McCusker. Ladies, how are y'all feeling today? So yeah? So I'm gonna ask y'all a couple of fun questions. Let's start you off with Britton. Britton, tell me a little bit about, what is the song that pumps you up before a game? Anything Ariana Grande. Ah, okay, Ariana Grande. Lydia, tell me a little bit about what's the music that pumps you up for, let's say, college. Let's just talk college in general. College. I've been listening to a lot of Noah Khan lately. I just went to ACL um, in Austin, so that was a lot of fun. Got to see him live. Okay. I love that. And Sydney, tell me, who is the woman that inspires you? Uh, probably like my mom and my nana. It's maybe it's a tie. They're both just really strong women, and we have such a close relationship. So I'm always so inspired by them. I love that. 
And Riley, one question for you is, what are you most excited about this evening? I'm just excited to be here with all these incredible ladies, and I'm just so inspired by all of them, so it's great to be around them tonight. I love that, and I guess another question for y'all sports specific. Talk about what is the, in as little words as you can put it, but like as a phrase, what's the one thing that you want the world to know about why recognizing, celebrating women in sports is important to you? So let's start you off. Okay, hard question, but um, I mean, there's so many reasons. I think that, um, women have been very underestimated in sports so it's incredible to be here tonight to um, kind of pump up women in sports and um, show what we can really be capable of. Absolutely and we're celebrating and pumping you all up. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah absolutely bouncing off of what she said I think um, we work really hard and we go through a lot that people don't see and we have to do stuff that men don't have to deal with like periods and having babies and just a ton of stuff that is make being a woman and athlete so much harder so it's great to honor that and express how hard we work. <laughs> Keeping it real is one thing too. Yeah. <laughs> I think confidence, there's so many good things that come from playing sports and confidence is one of them, no matter how long you play or how good you are at your sport. So that's something I'm happy to celebrate today. Incredible. And Riley? I think it's so important to celebrate female athletes and just acknowledge all the hard work that they put into their sport and really just being able to have them express themselves and their individuality through their sport. I love that. And thank you all so much. We're so excited to be celebrating you all today. And I hope you all have a lovely evening. Thank you. Thanks for Welcome back to the 2023 Glamour Woman of the Year. Next up, we have an extraordinary special guest, one of our honorees who has is getting our Daring Award. We're so excited to bring over Selma Blair. Hello. Oh. Hello. How are you? I am very well. This is exciting to be out at such a big event. I, I mean, this is so exciting. I, we, I was looking for Scout. Didn't see Scout. I know. This is really one of my first times away from my service dog. And I was like, okay, I have enough people watching me. I have my I have my cane. I'm okay. But I really, I really miss him. But I thought I'd give the women a break and we wouldn't get some dog hair on that, all our, on all our I, well, We were going to let him get on our dress. We'll do anything. Everyone's yeah. just going to be here like, you know. Right. <laughs> you, every, you know, when there's a dog around, nobody's know, seeing anybody. True. He always steals the phone. <laughs> well, Samuel, you are an actress advocate, and what you have done, truly an author, amazing. What you have done, I mean, everything that you've done as far as awareness and advocacy for disabilities, right? And it's not just the 61 million Americans who, d disabled Americans, what you have done is truly touched and opened the eyes and hearts of all Americans. So you could be relatively effortless when you, you are supposed yeah. And I really was supported um, by the disability community um, from the get-go, which is um, such an unusual feeling <laughs> because, you know, always we're kind of have to, like, pay our dues. And it's like, no, you've paid your dues your whole life. Like, and, and it was a really, um, the women that came before me, and they're actually on my sweater this evening. Wait, so, uh, Alice, Maria, Judy. Jelly. Who is the disability rights? Um, really started the um, ADA and the Rehab okay. Acts. ADA, the American Disabilities Act. You want to just, just turn around and no, turn this way, and I'm going to hold the mic. Yeah. Okay, so there's Judy Human who passed away this past year, but um, means so much and such really the organizer and champion of it all. Yeah, so and Shanae Burke, who I was actually on the British Vogue covers with for the disability issues and she's an amazing, amazing voice and, and fashionista and tilting the lens and Alice Wong and um, Keely Catwells and Andrea Levant who's been my consultant and, and she has Levant Consulting. There's so many avenues that I did not know that were open to me and so many people to really keep this ball rolling and create new advantages. That's Salma. 
you have to be so proud of you. <laughs> because most of the time, as human, when we have, you know, hardship in our life, some of us just fold, yes. right? You didn't. Mm -hmm. You went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, hear go, mm -mm. I think when I spent so many years really unhappy and knowing that my body wasn't right and never being validated, yeah. that was much worse for me than getting a diagnosis, even if it meant bigger treatments and things that I still undergo for the rest of my life. Having the validation and then realizing I could be a comfort or part of a voice to for the community yes. or you know a touchstone or my interest in the clothes with Isaac and QVC, like just bringing it to a bigger audience. Um, that you know I wasn't as aware of before my. We diagnosis. salute you. We Thank salute you. you. Their story is just Darryl. resiliency, coming out. Advocacy for all of us because we're all bound to be yes. disabled at one point. Yes. that's the yes. truth. We to care for each other. Yes, you know? yes. That's really it. It's so humbling experience. Oh no, thank you so much. Yeah. Selma, thank We're you so that much. You step up. And please give Scout extra treats oh, for us tonight. Oh, I will. <laughs> I will. I miss it. I mean, <laughs> we do too. Thank Bye, you, Selma, Selma Blair. Uh, congratulations. It's like yeah. I'm like getting weak. <laughs> okay. That was Selma Blair. For her to take her pain it's beautiful. and change it and make it's, something? It's literally it's literally a story of resilience. It's exactly what this event I means tonight. Dress, Sophia, so. I see gorgeous Anna Sophia, get over here, baby. I mean this is the best you. Oh, oh my you goodness. So it's so nice to meet both of you in real life. I mean you are the quadruple threat. We got actress, models, there you do it all. You do it all. How how do you do it? What inspires you? What what Before empowers you? you? Ask that. I'm just do you want to switch? the outfit yeah. <laughs> because this I've never seen. It is stunning. You know, I've never worn a train before, but I figured it's glamour. Well, you, it's women. It's I mean, glam, if you want to wear a train, glamour. Glamour. we got to do the glamour. This is Quite a weather that's glamour. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, Amelia Wickstead, and I love her. And the fact that it's not wrinkled, I don't know who's taking care of this. This is amazing. I laid down in the, I, the I was like, down. don't move. That's what sprinter bands are for. OK, who are you? You are such an inspiration. Who inspires you? Who inspires can me? You face this way yes. so they can so see sorry, so sorry. Hello. Yes, I, I am an actor and I know where cameras go. Like, yeah. And camera. Hello. It's hidden. Um, it's hidden. I'd say all of the women here, I mean, Selma Blair is, I've watched Can her forever and she's such a striking woman and she is so uh, vocal and yeah. powerful and holds herself with such grace. And I think like this event is so lovely. Like the energy, everyone seems very calm. It's a, it's, and it's a celebration of like women and empowerment. Everyone like Everyone is so accomplished. I feel like yes. I want to go home and run a marathon. Raquel Willis, I just saw her and I love her. I see her at events and it was like, we're just chit chatting in line. Right, right. It's yeah, it's really tremendous to be surrounded by so many fabulous yeah. women. We don't want to hold you. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to hold you. No, no, we don't want to hold you because you should see how many people already passed. Okay. <laughs> we adore you and we cannot, please, we're coming inside. I don't know what they were thinking to give us a job and a seat over there, but we're coming inside. Okay, see you yes. soon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. you look stunning. Thank you. Stunning. I want this skirt. Hi. I oh, love a dramatic skirt. Malin, hi. Oh my, how are you? You know the last, you know the last time, I actually, I was at your house swimming in your pool with Shannon. Like a little years ago, I was like the last time was I was at your house and I think I jumped into the this pool and it was kind of shallow. Off the deck? Yeah, 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 off the deck. I jumped off the deck into her, into your pool. How have you been? I'm good. How are you? Amazing. So great to see you. So, Welcome. Thank you. It's you so great are to be here. a vision. Yeah. A vision. <laughs> thank you. So I have a little tiny small business. Okay. And I know a little thing about you. Oh. You okay. support. International business. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Opportunity Can you tell for us a little bit about that. Opportunity in, international. in Africa. Yes. It's all over the world. All of my insight trips have been to Africa and yeah. Nicaragua as well. Um, but it is a wonderful organization that supports mainly women and, and helping them with small businesses and microloans. And they're wonderful because they also give you business acumen. They give you business courses so they actually get to learn how to operate small businesses. I mean, you're teaching people to fish the fish. I mean, I'm helping to bring it to the world, but I'm not teaching them. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're your, your middle name is Philanthropy, LA Mission. I, when I lived in LA, you were in every, you're on every 
uh, baby to be, you're on every board, everything. You are, philanthropy is literally your middle name. Like, uh, what, what is your latest org, org or thing? Please plug one of them, because you're, you're in so many, and it's amazing how you so selflessly give your time and your energy. Well, my main mission in life is really mental health, and yes. mainly for children. And On Our Sleeves is a new organization that I've been working with to bring attention to mental health, especially for children, because they don't tend to wear their heart on their sleeves. We don't know what they're thinking, and so we need to start conversations with them. And on their website, they really share all these conversation starters that you can start with your children. They have curriculums for, um, you know, teachers and mentors alike that that can help you start conversations. But it's just a wonderful organization. You I'm must go to bad. bed feeling Men. very happy. Uh, knowing mental that health and children. That's I want to get involved. Please tell me where to sign up. Yeah. Truly, I would absolutely love to. That's very yeah, close to me. Okay, so I'm going to text Shannon after this. Tell her we said hi and that we saw you. Thank you so much, Valentine. Thank you, ladies. Thank you have so fun much. Enjoy tonight. tonight. Enjoy this disco queen. I I will. Thank you. Good night. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I also Thank just you. want everybody's outfits. That's what's really hard yes. about this is like it's in, it, to see people and to, but then also I'm like I want to I wear mean they're so accomplished and so beautiful and we're just fanning them. We don't even care what they're wearing. Yeah. I know which is bad because we're on a red carpet. Yes. They're too much like too much accomplished. It's amazing. It's, I, I keep pinching me again. Don't pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. I'm going to pinch you. Again, I'm going to pinch you here, not your bum. And in the meantime, then I'm also going to bring in an amazing, amazing honoree. Quinta, can you please come over here? Oh, he's got God. money. Oh, he got money. Hey, how We're do not let annoying you when everyone does twirl. it? Twirl? You got to twirl. You got to show our, our people. In, oh, my God, that ponytail. Ah, amazing. You are not playing. You didn't. Amazing, amazing. So you are one of our honorees today. We are so excited. And knowing that your amazing work, I mean, comedian, actress, writer, Fire. quadruple threat, knowing that your mom has also inspired so much of your work, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, my mom, a wonderful woman, a woman of the year every year to me. Um, she just was incredible. I got to watch her do her work when I was in her class, when I was younger, when I was in kindergarten, and then for the rest of my elementary schooling. And she just wound up being a huge inspiration. It was like all that information got stored in the back of my brain somewhere. And when it was time to make a hit TV show, it kind of poured out. It well, is a hit. hit. It is. And I mean, so, mom's inspiration resonates with Uba and I so very much. Yeah. Oh, we'll start crying if we talk about it. Yeah, but that's the thing. Woman of the year every year. I heard you choking a little, and I was like, don't I know, this, don't I do it every time. You would think at this point, I. Wouldn't choke up about it, but it's really sweet. And I have some family here with me today, my sister and my niece, so I feel a little bit more emotional than normal because I have my family here to help me celebrate this amazing honor. Amazing. So awesome. Well, you are an icon in and of yourself. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're wearing? Yes, I am Donatella Versace from Versace, Head to Toe. you can just tell right there. <laughs> I mean, I saw it, but Versace, the people at home Versace. can't see it. I, I wanted people to know that it was Versace, Donatella, because we wanted to wear a woman for this event. And yes. I wanted to make sure it was a female designer. So I'm very happy to get one of the best and one of the most iconic. And um, I'm, I'm really, I just love the dress. We are so happy to be here with Thank you guys. You guys. I don't know what we did to deserve this. <laughs> no, please. But congratulations. You Congrats. deserve every Thank honor you so you're much. getting. Thank, Thank you for you. the show. And thanks Thank to all the moms out there. Thank you, moms. Thank you, people, for watching the show. Yeah. Hope you'll come back soon. Right there. Amazing. Thank you, Quinta. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. We'll see you inside. Okay, one of the one of the many reasons why we're here, I think I spy with my Italy, the 2023 Global Woman of the Year. America, America, come, come, come. We are so excited. We're gonna implode. I'm gonna I am go going to I am going to nice to meet you. I mean what is this? I mean, this is such a full circle moment. You have presented. You've been a part of this Woman of the Year year after year. You've been a pivotal to this entire org. And now you're being honored. This is such a full circle moment. How does it feel? It feels so wonderful. I love this event. I've, as you mentioned, I've had a chance to attend a couple times. Um, one year I got to present uh, Malala, her Glamour Woman of the Year award. Just little, just little alkaloids. I mean, come on incredibly monumental for me um, and it's just such an inspiring event I mean getting to spend a night celebrating badass women who are doing incredible things it gives you all the right feels and I'm very excited and and really honored to to get to be one of one I'm of gonna make you blush for a second 
your hairdresser also I work with her Miyok. With Miyok. <laughs> she speaks so highly of Aww. you. Because you know the makeup artist and the hairdresser, they know everything. They she knows she much about loves you True. so much. Oh, she you. say you are her easiest. Well, this client. is her work. Yes, know, yes, yes, yes. It's amazing. <laughs> it's a huge testament because you guys are so busy, busy, go, go. And when you know the hair and makeup speak very highly of you. It's, <laughs> it's a testament. We know who you are. Yeah. You're honoring they're honoring you tonight, but I just think it, it's about time. Thank you. Yes. Thanks so much. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so. well, you're being, you're the guest of honor, so maybe we should let you get inside. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for speaking with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye. I love how we're also now bowing to people. Now I we're like, I, I am Bye. like, I can't. Bow. Back away can, slowly. Can. Bow. Because Bow. <laughs> how do you do it? Like a queen of, queen of England? Yeah, 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 like when this. you see the queen? Oh, yeah, yeah, just curtsy. We are in a curtsy. We're going to curtsy a little bit. Huma is here. Yes, I see. Hello, oh, hello. Oh, my God. I saw Huma. Oh, my Could God. Could we... Who, I think I'm trying to wrangle Huma in over here because I've got... Hello. Yes, you. Hi. Hello. Lovely, lovely to see lovely you. Lovely to see you. Hi, my lovely love. See nice seeing you. This is your thing. We want you to say hi to our fun. Hello, everybody. Good evening. What an amazing night to be celebrating. And so who are you? Is there anyone here that you're most looking forward to meeting tonight? You are an icon in your own right and amazing advocacy, everything that you work on. Is there anyone here in particular that you're excited to meet or see? You know, what I said to Sam this morning is that I think of all the years, this is my favorite, because the entire roster of women who are being honored, both women who have done extraordinary things, women who are just starting out in the world doing amazing things, so to, to, to see Brooke Shields being honored for what she's being honored for, and America Ferreira for being a first in many ways, and then to have Millie Bobby Brown and this kind of this young, exciting, you know, new, and Mary J. Blige, who's an icon, it's just... It feels like a really right time to be honoring women. And you, well, you would know because you are truly fighting the, the, the good fight, the ultimate fight, everything that you're going to do, advocacy and using your own voice in, with women in Iran. Can you tell us a little bit more about what this past year has been like for you? And maybe this is a joyous occasion. So what you're looking forward to or hope for, especially next year, knowing it's going to be a political. We're not here to talk politics tonight. We're celebrating. But what, what advice would you give to empower women everywhere going into next year, which might be a little bit of a tough year. You know, it is going to be a tough year, and I think part of it, this is the one-year anniversary of the war beginning um, between Hamas and, uh, and Israel, and I think it's so important for all of us, particularly those of us who are mothers who have children, we have to answer to our children to, for decisions that our leaders are making and that we're making and what we're advocating for, and so my heart is with the people suffering in this humanitarian crisis in this moment people in Gaza in particular, the families who have suffered, who have lost, the hostages in their families. But really, in this moment, what I'm praying for is that we would have a ceasefire, that there would be a cessation of hostilities to save as many lives um, as possible, because we have to answer to our children. And I'm so glad, Bryn, you asked me about the women in Iran, because the women in Iran, because that is also something that we have to live with ourselves and stand up and fight for democracy on their behalf. So there's so much in this world that we have to be worried about. And I think it's one of the reasons why what you're doing tonight is celebrating women who are making change. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly By the way, exactly you know your boss is here tonight. Potentially. I mean. <laughs> Full Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Now, now we have to breathe. I'm just going to hide behind you. Do you want to move here for a little bit? Because yeah. this was where you're um, So I think I spy the queen of R&B. <sighs> queen of R&B. Mary J. Blige. Please will you join the us? Honoree. Honoree. Mary, thank you so, so, so much for being here. You are absolutely, Mary, I mean. Can you please, if you can stand this way, because that's the you are. Oh, okay. They, All right, cool. <laughs> they need to see this. Okay. They need to see this. Oh, Such an amazing honoree. You are the most celebrated and decorated. I mean, from Grammys to NAACP Music Awards, American Music Awards, Billboard Icon Awards. We are just so honored for you to be here. The icon of icons. If you don't mind, can we ask, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. I feel excellent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, 
and you look amazing. Is there anyone who you're particularly excited or to see or do? I mean, you're 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 among you're with your peers right now as far as like as far as advocacy and and everything. Is there anyone particularly here that you're excited to? I mean, I'm just excited that we're all here as women of power, doing amazing things, living amazingly, feeling amazing, and understanding our power as women. You know, that, that's that's I'm just excited about all of us. That's it. Amazing, amazing. Mary, I've been asking all these powerful women, the confident one. What advice would you give your 15 year old? Were you this, always this confident? No, I was not. So I, 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 the advice I would give is just accept all of you. You may not like all of you, but love all of you. You may not like your personality here or there or there, but you're all you have. So accept and embrace everything about you, good, bad, ugly, whatever it is. It's you. Yes. And if you can see all of you, you can fix whatever needs to be fixed. And that's the and advice. If you I accept it, the other will also. I just said that. A little funny thing to tell you. I learned English through your albums. Really? I mean. That's amazing. To, because it, before, you had to write lyrics. They didn't have the lyrics, right? Right. So we had to write it. You like pray a little round, and you listen, and you write it down. Right? Right. So yeah, I learned my English through your albums. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. We love you so much. You're very welcome. Yes. Thank you. You're, Congratulations. You're Thank you very so much. much. You're welcome. You look stunning, stunning. Stun and I go to Clemmy too. She says hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye, Mary. Amazing. Okay, we're doing okay, it. We're I think I need it. like okay, who do we have a now? shot of water, like Fiji or something. I feel like we can pay. I mean, there's a sea of influential, most important people. In the oh world. my God, I also see Aaron. Oh! Okay. Hide my phone. Hide Aaron my phone. Aaron is here. Hello. Hello. Please show this outfit. Bonjour. Bonjour. And how are you doing? So excited to be here tonight. Yes. So great to celebrate women. So great to be glamorous. So great to bring in some optimism and and um, hopefulness. It's a challenging time that we're in in this world. So uh, did it's you, great to be here. Did you here. do your morning show today? The, do, morning. Did you, you, you no. The morning yeah. show. No, yeah. I can't talk about the <laughs> show. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of like a breakdown. Can you hear me now? What about People, now? I think the internet's breaking. Nong, 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 Everybody's nong, nong. wireless just oh. paused. Nobody heard that. Tell us about your outfit tonight. Okay, so this yeah. is Brandon Maxwell and uh, Mishka on yeah. the bottom. And these shoes, which are my favorite, are you Saint Laurent? It's my favorite color. Yes, and yes. Thank you so Amazing. much for that. Okay. Amazing. We love it. We love it. He's here tonight. Is there? Brian yes. Maxwell is here. Yeah, he's right behind. Yes. You. Yes. Is there anyone in particular that you are excited to see or that? You know, I'm so. I'm just so excited to vibe tonight with you guys, with women, with Quinta Brunson, who I oh really God, love, and Mary J. Blige, who we both love and we all love. And But it's really great just to be in a room with women and supporting and loving on each other and, you know, lifting each other up. So that, that for me is what I love to do. Uh, I have three wonderful sisters. And so it's really great to be in a room with women. Speaking of sister, Quinton was talking about her mom and she was a little bit tear up. We were scared that our lashes going to fall off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your mom. Oh, what a great question. Uh, my mother was a force of nature. Force of nature. She was a scientist. She worked with NASA. She worked with wow. uh, nuclear technology. Right. She's an amazing, amazing woman. I think about her every day. Everything I do every day is what she taught me. So that's where you get it. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's You're literally you glowing oh. speaking about her. <laughs> she was an amazing, amazing woman. I wish I, you could have met her because you would love her. Oh. Well, I'm sure she's here tonight. Trust me. Hey, don't start. Okay. <laughs> we have to get you out of here because you're making us cry. Yeah. Not joking. <laughs> crying, no crying. We're celebrating. We're celebrating. Yeah. But we are also honor we're honoring the women here. We're honoring the women that can't be here. A D all of the above. So uh, honoring women, and that's what glamour does. Yes, that's, every that is every what glamour every does. Age is about every honoring women. Yeah. They accomplish these people have. I'm like, we're gonna run marathon next. Year. All right. <laughs> we just have to. I know, but you have to talk to Bettina, who just finished the marathon. The New York Marathon, and she's here tonight. You okay. have to talk okay, to her. Talk to her Amazing okay. woman. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my and God. Someone who I'm actually not fighting with. 
Come in the middle. Come look in the middle. Come in look the what the cat dragged in. Right in the middle of us. We're doing different with you. Look at what the cat dragged in. Hi, my girl. Hello, Hi. Aaron. I'm so proud of you guys. You look amazing. Thanks. You both look so oh, gorgeous. Gosh, thank we you. We love you that you're here. I hide my phone because I thought you were going to come. Oh, you know, I have she, it. She, she hid Already. her phone and her sunglasses. You didn't know that I had your her phone? sunglasses. It's in the back. Yeah. We're so happy you're here with us. I know. But you know what? We're amazing. working. You're here to party. I know. So I we know. have to so say we bye. we got to kick you out. Get, her, get this you, one out of here. Love you love so you much. Love you guys. Have fun. <laughs> okay. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. And, and we so love you so much. Guest, guest of honor, we have Millie Bobby Brown. Millie, Millie, come. Hello, lovely. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing really, really good. You are being honored tonight, 2023 Global Woman of the Year. I mean, and you have your fiance present to you and your mother-in-law. You are basically the daughter-in-law of the year, by the way. Thanks for making the rest of us potentially look bad, but how, how does it feel? I'm extremely honored and thankful for this moment and what an amazing evening to celebrate women and achievements and um, I'm just very grateful to be here. Amazing. Well, you are an actor, an advocate and you are the most amazing for Animal Rescue and can you tell us a little bit about that because it's one of many, you know, entrepreneur philanthropists but I'm obsessed as a dog lover. I'm yeah. puppy obsessed crazy. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your and everyone at home about your the advocacy and the rescue that you do? Yeah. Um, I foster animals from my local shelters and uh, I help rehabilitate them and build confidence and show them the love that maybe they haven't been shown before and uh, you know it's a huge passion of mine and I would like to be their voice. Well, I think you are, I think you are and I speak dog so, so I would know. Yes, exactly. Amazing. Well, thank you're the so guest of honor, tonight. so we have to push you inside. Yes. But thank you so much for talking with us and, and have and fun and congrats. Inside, so we save us a dance. Congrats. Yes. And thank congratulations. You. Congrats. Bye, bye, bye. Oh my God, I always here. Uh -huh. Hey girl, hey, come here, Milo, how are you? How are you? I mean, not just a it girl, the it girl. The you have, the? yes, you have chopped, diced, sauteed, and souffléed into everyone's hearts. <laughs> how, how do you feel being here tonight? Uh, I'm very excited. I'm gonna be presenting for Quinta Brunson, who is... Yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorite human beings to ever be born. No offense, obviously. Oh, it's always so... a huge fun. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm just really, really happy to get to be here for her. Um, and with so many also amazing women. Tell literally, us, tell us about the heart of gay and Lindsay Lohan are in my eye light. That's not Lindsay Lohan. It's Miss Jess Mariska Hart <laughs> was a redhead woman. But anyway. They all look the same. That's Samantha. Okay. And that was amazing to just think Lindsay Lohan could be here. These are the sorts of things. Hollywood's a beautiful town, you know? Hey, Speak of Lindsay Lohan, tell us about your your Beyonce situation. My, <laughs> um, yes, How I. Was it? it was amazing. She's. She, I'm. I'm. That's another woman who I'm so you went, grateful was born. Quinta and I went with our friend Taylor Guerin, and we all wore silver. Uh, and it was just. Did, it was just did a dream. you guys? Did your t was it in mute? Was a mute challenge? Did you guys want we, that? I think we did pretty good. I don't know if everybody was on mute, yeah. but a lot of people were on was mute. mute. And you got to celebrate that. A win is a win. We have to. We have to. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for thank speaking you. with us. And thank you. All right. Thank you so much. You look stunning. Yeah. Lisa Ann, hi. Hello. Don't oh I love you? No, you're beautiful, beautiful. You oh my so gosh! Fun. I want to take all both, day. I want to take you out and feed you bagels, both of them. Yeah, oh, but we don't scoop eat. them. We're oh, from New York, so we don't scoop them. We eat we the right way. Them. We do not scoop. We eat the whole you, thing. You have worked on a variety of women rights. So I know that you're here to see your bestie, yeah, your colleague, is here being boss. Your colleague and your boss. Yeah. No pressure. Your bestie, mostly. Um, but you have worked on such a broad range of from feminist issues, women's rights issues. Is there anything that you would like to share with our Glamour fans? Anything that you're currently actively involved in? Sure. Okay. That's put you on the spot. Absolutely. No, you you can. So as you said, I'm the chair of the Women's Committee for SAG-AFTRA for the, for the Performers Union. And I did a lot of work um, with them to let people know what the changing laws are across the country in regards to reproductive rights. So now there's an interactive map on our landing page uh -huh. and now we can travel women to a safe state if they find themselves in, a, in an emergency. So I was really proud of that if I do nothing else. But that's not all. But, and wait, there's, there's more. more. Um, so I'm on the board of the ERA Coalition. I have been marching and fighting for the ERA to be passed since I was a kid. 
stop. Since I in seven. Is that from home? Is yeah, I grew up. I grew up in D.C. Yes. So I was always very political, very active, and it just didn't make sense to me that women didn't have equal rights guaranteed under the Constitution. That's weird. Yes. They told me to look at that camera, but that looks like the one I should be you using. You can do whatever you want. Okay. That one is better. To, but uh, let's want. get this, the important thing is that it is uh, has been ratified. It's been passed in all the states it needs to, but they just have to take off this phony baloney timeline that they put on it years ago, and we just need a couple more people to allow that to happen. Well, you got two right here, so count us in. <laughs> okay, well, listen. We're very hardworking people. Are you going to be go right little... from here and get elected to the House, and yeah, then we'll sure. be good? Okay, done and done. I mean, it's election day, so that we, we've got something to do after here. I'm not going to the rap party. We're going to go and do that. Okay, let's do it. I mean, listen. No, no, maybe been... after after party. Come on. After the after party, party. after then... the after after, <laughs> then we go then to we this go. thing that they introduced a hundred years ago, people don't realize that, that the ERA was introduced a hundred years ago, the same year that they um, invented the cheeseburger, Mickey Mouse, and frozen food. Okay, so yeah. They all made it. So they've all made it. So, you know, just a little bit more important. If we, if we put women's rights on a burger, we'd have it by now. Okay. That's that's also going to be on our agenda, right? I just want a woman to run the world. That's what I want. Okay. I think the woman who's going to run the world next is actually That's what we here. want. Okay. Thank you. So, so much. Thank You're you. You're so welcome, you. lady. Thank you so much. Okay, get inside. Yes. Go have fun. Thanks. Oh, I love that gold glamour. That's going to be our new yeah. thing. Thank you. It was lovely to okay. see you. I love you so much. And next up, we have Miss Lauren. Miss London, Miss Lauren, girl, you look amazing. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great tonight. My God. Absolutely look amazing. Is there, we have to know, is there anyone? You have done actress, activist, and you have done so much in the work for gun control. Is there anyone else here that you're particularly looking forward to meeting or seeing or maybe even already met in the line? Yeah, um, Mary J. Blige. I'm a huge fan of MJV. So every time I see her, I'm just like. <laughs> I mean, we were screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. shaking my boots now, so I'm like, yeah. yeah. And you guys, I'm watching the show, so. Oh, thank you. Oh, come on, please. You don't Should have you to lie down? to us. No, I swear to God, oh, I watch the show. Oh, Absolutely. You watch the I'm show? a big housewife oh. fan. Yes. Oh this is, uh, thank you, thank you. Maybe we found our seventh housewife. <laughs> I think, I think. We just said a Lauren London be Lauren New York. Can you please just look at the camera to see your beauty? Just oh, You oh, are thanks. honestly, I mean, you know, there's a lot of beautiful people in the world. The one that have inside also, you can see. Oh, you are yeah. literally glowing. She only speaks the that. truth. I, that I, is the ultimate compliment for me because I believe it's from the, the soul out. I, honey, so do you. I, I You're can gorgeous. Feel it. Oh, God bless you. And I'm gonna find you tonight. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. You. And two, and we've gotta call some people. We need to. She, I, I smell a seventh housewife over here. Oh, you are oh, so. God beautiful. bless you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you so much. Okay, we're yes. gonna find you inside. Yes. Okay. Oh, girl. And we got answers and gossip. All right. And I see Aoki. <laughs> Hello, my love. Come, come, come. How are you? Good I haven't. You. Well, well, I haven't seen you. I don't know if you remember since St. Barts. Stand this way. So, yes. I, I was with you New Year's Eve with Emma. Remember, we we're hanging out. Yes. Fireworks were going off, and I was running around making sure that your dog was not hurt by the fireworks. <laughs> yeah, that was such a fun year. It was fun. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve was always fun. Yeah, I know, right? So, how how are you doing? And what? Actually, you know what my question is for you? We all know your mother's an icon. What's it like growing up with an icon? And what's it like turning, you're an icon in of itself. This girl graduated from Harvard at the age of 20. Like who does it? Oh, 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 you're all the way up, girl. Okay, so. Start early. Some people like are icon so. like when they are old, like few years are done. I will say I'm not super scared doing this because growing up my mom, she always say, yeah. oh, those are not guys with cameras. Those are mommy's friends. Just say hi, you kid. I was like, hi, guys. Oh you also have a little accent, like a little British accent. Boarding school. There She's you go. She's so chic. I literally boarding can school. hear it. It's boarding school. Yeah. Oh, oh, girl, we love it. She's all about the level up for her ch children. She yes. didn't get to go to school. She's like, you're going to go to Switzerland. You're going to go wherever. I mean, so I'm very grateful to her. She I is an icon. Too. You are an icon. And you have done so much. Just you, you have, no, I don't know anyone else who's taken Instagram and just used it as a platform for racial justice, for climate change. What don't you do? Tell me, actually, I'm going to make you name something that you don't do. Um, There's nothing. I don't, <laughs> she's not in a club. She's I not don't in a club. She's snowboard. out making change. No, okay. I don't snowboard. She doesn't snowboard. I don't free climb. I rock climb, but I use ropes. I'm not crazy. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. I think that, that's what I thought. Okay. I don't do any of that. According to my mom, the issue is I'm not a doctor. But, like, we'll get there eventually. Okay, okay, okay. We can, we, we can get over that one. We can go over the... I th hope. 
Aoki, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good we, to see you. We know we're going to be seeing you a lot on this red carpet for years to come. Keep doing it, girl. We're Keep doing manifest it. That. I'll see you guys inside. I will see you inside, my love. So it was such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Coming from you? No, it's uh, 80 ox. Yeah. Yes, Love yes, it. yes, yes. Ciao. Bye. Okay. Paris here to help us. Amazing. Okay, so next up we have Perry, Hello. editor of Glamour, get in here. And we have Aurora James, fashion designer. Oh Who are you? I'm so excited to be here right now. And can I just talk about how amazing you guys look? I mean, thank you. I mean, you are, you, are, you are one of our favorite. Is this is your, is your design? Oh my gosh, these are my shoes. Um, because, you know, I'm a shoe girly. But this whole ensemble is by Wiederhoft. So fun, amazing. right? Absolutely gorgeous. No, I really like in here. No. I'm in here. Love okay, it. amazing. And, and Perry, I, I yes. think you have a couple. So, I have a million questions, but I think you yes. have some questions so, too. I'm a glamour editor, and I wanted to say how nice it is to see you here this year because you were a woman of the year last year. How does it feel to be back? Oh my gosh, I have to say I'm so honored to be back. And the thing that really like makes my heart explode is seeing girls like Aoki future glamour girl of the year for sure, right? And I yes. think there's just so much to celebrate and this past year has been really hard and just being able to be in a room with so many incredible women, so stoked. We're so happy you're here and I wanna just ask you one quick thing. You had such a big year this year with your memoir, Wild Power, and it was met with such critical acclaim. How does it feel to be a published author? I am still pinching myself, it's so crazy to write a book, honestly, because it's like your diary just being published. I mean, yeah. If you haven't read Wildflower, you're missing out. It's time to go buy Wildflower. I got Flower. it with a copy and a signature. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't get one. Do you have an audio now? Yes. Okay. I have an audio. I have I'm an audio. very good with audio better than reading because I fall asleep. <laughs> I, listen, I recorded the audio book myself because I was, I'm an audio book girly, so thank I know. You it's, go. Thank you It's good so to do an audio book. No, hey, thank you for the no, hot no, sauce. No, no. I, oh! Listen, I, I got a hot sauce. Yes! She is one. That is a trade off. Trade. support. The barter system works she like glamour. She do support women and uh, black business. And yeah, the 15% yeah. pledge. With the 15 pledge. pledge. Jump pledge. Well, that's yeah. all we got to do. We yeah. have to support each other as women, exactly. right? Yes. Like, we are the ones that like we've been waiting for, as they say. So yeah. that's why we're all here. Exactly. Yeah. Are you planning the next gala for fifteen percent? Oh my gosh, I Is am. First Saturday in February. Are you gonna do the same place as last year? We're not. Maybe. Oh, we're doing are? it in LA. We're moving into LA for the first. I will we'll fly get for that. Uber. I will <laughs> literally fly for that. Yeah, I'm really yeah. excited about it. I'm really excited about it. We're about to announce a specific location, but it's going to be gigantic. So I'm Last stoked. Year it was like minus four. So you're doing a good job to oh take God, it to it LA. Was <laughs> freezing. I know. February in New York is not necessarily where you want to be. Just saying. For your event, I think people will want to be there. So yes. Aww, thank you guys. Well, amazing. Thank, thank you, for all you your so much. For work. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you guys so much. Yeah. It's so great to be here. Enjoy yeah. your night. You too. Celebrate thank for you. sure. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Thank you. I think it's just so imagine to see like last here. year's honorees come back and they're here. I mean, it's like this whole full circle moment in so many ways and still showing up and showing the love and showing the support. This is exactly what Glamour is about. It's it's so much more than a digital publication or a magazine. This is like, I wish you guys could feel, hopefully you felt the energy because we certainly felt it. It's been I'm so I'm ready to lovely. take my shoes off and be inside I, with those accomplished women. Yes. I'm getting my notepad, like <laughs> so. We're gonna take notes, what I need to do to actually become the woman yeah. I'm a woman of the year. I yeah. know. I have many, many, many years. I'm, I'm like what 99 percent sure that the next female president is in that room. So I think we need to run in there and start shaking hands and kissing babies because yes. she's. And in there we want to sure. thank Glamour for giving us this opportunity, yes. guys. We did not sneak in. We were actually I did. invited. <laughs> so thank you for staying with us for one hour. And this is it. Thank you guys we're so much. Inside. We're signing off. <laughs>